many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey, everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, March 18th. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day so far. I've got a uh, one to one that was at the 55 straddle that just fired off after my other one got stopped out for a profit on that move lower. And then I've still got my original three two from this morning. And I've got my, uh, one DTE, it's up about 1700 on that one. I've got a, uh, let's see, I've got a profit target of 695. It's currently trading at 840. And then in my other account, I've got a Wooga that fired off on the 50 put 60 calls filled at 420. And then I've had uh, several other price action trades that are that have all been winners. Mm-hmm. Chadwick, how are you? Yeah, doing not, doing pretty good. Um, had my my very first trade barely got stopped. I mean, it it literally hit it and then popped right back up. So that was a full loss. But besides that. Um, my next two are, are winners and I just, um, put on my first power hour trades. I'm going to post it real quick. Um, my second account that I trade didn't get stopped on that first one and it's up over 3,700. So it's just, I get survived that big down push that we saw, um, I wouldn't say big down push, I guess, but the one that cracked through lows and, uh, and right at noon. Yeah. So the difference between surviving and not surviving it about $3,700 difference. (laughs) Yeah. We've, uh, we've tapped that low of day that basically the low, right, right. The right where the market opened low of the first five minute bar one, two, three times now. Yeah, I, I, uh, but I've scratched and clawed and I'm, I'm back in the positive. So with, and I actually just got filled on, what's that? Um, just, just hit 40% on my lunchtime. Number one. So kind of a weird Monday, but turned into a decent Monday. Big pre-market rally sucked all the premiums out, but stayed pretty steady. 20 point range. Expected move to start the day was about 20 points. So we went up and hit the upside expected move and then just kind of trailed down and chopping around. Just hit 20% on one of my trades. Hit my 50% on my AM ratio. I did take a discretionary, some discretionary puts. I posted in the day trading channel when price was up here, right below the expected move, chopping around, kind of bouncing off that top of that first five minute bar. It looked like a good continuation runner. So I sold some puts and I bought some futures, but I cut it really quick as soon as it broke down below that consolidation. 
So a couple of small losses there. And I did not get into my NDX because my bot didn't fire. And then by the time I thought about it, premiums were too low. So no NDX for me. Yeah, they got to fix that. It's something something going on in the right at the beginning of the day. It's now happened several times. Not sure if it's an API issue or a trade steward issue or what it is. Yeah, the uh the four or five is green. Actually, <clears throat> I have a order at three bucks in case we get a little flush. My profit target would actually be at two dollars and forty five cents, but I put in a three dollar order just in case. We decide we want to come down. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that. If we do flush down, we can, I could book more than that. I also put on a single put calendar after we had that big volatility contraction. It's up a little bit, up a couple hundred. Uh, no, Tom, the up day and down day are from the open of the day. Not the previous day's close. So right now we are only we're basically just barely above the open. Did you get in your wooga before we had that? Um, oh, what was that about a nine point move fifteen minutes ago? I am in my wooga. Got in it <clears throat> right before two forty five. So it's up about 16% so far. Yeah, at 240, there was that move down that was about nine points. Right, at, I guess that was right at 240. Yeah, so I got in right after or 140, that. I mean, I'm sorry, 140. You got in right after that? Okay, yeah. that's good. I didn't get in one because I had overlapping strikes, and so I just... Couldn't do it. Yes, Dick K. Hey, welcome back. Hope you're refreshed, recharged, ready to trade. Hey, in the house. So some of the big tech stocks were up earlier. Tilray is up 10%. Tesla is up 6 Tesla finally getting a decent little bounce. Google still up over 4 Adobe up 4 PayPal up two and a half. Netflix up two. Meta up two. Apple up one. 
Ah, Dick K. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Gotta have picks. SMCI down six and a half percent. That's a big drop. Dick K, I know you were trading smaller size on vacay, but you may have been able to pay for your cyber truck with last week's trading. You probably did anyway. I put on a one, two and a one, three earlier. Both of those are slightly green. I'm going to put on a one, four here in about 30 minutes. Don't forget, we've got FOMC on Wednesday. Oh, thanks, Dick. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah. How's it ride? Like a dream. That's awesome. Sweet. I've heard, uh, I've heard pictures don't do it justice either. I've I've heard they're just amazing. That's awesome. Last time Elon Musk was on the Joe Rogan show, he had uh, Joe Rogan shoot his 90 pound bow at it. And the arrow just All that. bounced, bounced off and <laughs> barely put yeah. a nick in it. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it's a head turner, that's for sure. The Wuga is up about 18%. Nice. My last uh, price action trade here is up. About 30. My re-entry at the 55 straddles up about 15. My, my uh, DTE, I need to hit six ninety five. It's trading at eight bucks. Sorry, Chad. Go my, ahead. My lunchtime number one is sitting dead center, so I'm gonna. I've got the sixty percent profit target on it, but I got three contracts left. I'm gonna lower it because it's sitting dead center and it has a. Uh, let's see what's my range here. It's got about, about a eight point range on each side, seven and a half. 
Dick K, how long were you on the list? How long ago did you put your deposit down? Yeah, I was going to ask how long that took to get it. Three years. I feel like this market wants to break through lows here. Yeah, I was 10 cents from getting out of my power hour. Number one, I was kind of wishing it would have gotten out. Still sitting pretty centered, though. Oh, wow. And when did, and when did you put that original deposit down for the 2025 one? Three years ago, okay. Wow. Wow. Oh. Looks like the at the money or the oh, yeah. 60 flies trading for about a buck 25. Our, our number one got filled 20%. Forty percent on one. So my Wooga could use a little down move. Oh yeah, don't like here. This big push up here. No, just a one four DRB. One two one three one four. VIX breaking through lows of day. Your one DTE hit, I had to manually get in mine. Let's see. I'm still about 90 cents away. 
Let me make sure I calculated that right. 1265. 695. Wait, 1265. And there it moved. Sixty butterflies trading at about a buck twenty. So, not sure we'll get to play with Mahomes today. Maybe. D155 would be ideal. Yeah, I was looking at the 5160 straddle for power hour number two, but still thinking about I'm not going to go this push up. I'm going to hold off. SMH was up over 2%, now only at 082 Got some juicy premiums in SMAs. You might sell some premium. Used to do SMH strangles all the time. Yeah, it's uh, it's priced nicely now. Ivy is pumped. It's contracted a little bit today, but.
I just posted a SMH strangle in the option selling channel. Didn't realize that I beat was so juiced. I can get out of my one DTE and then get a move back to 55. It'll be a great day. Yeah, I can use a little pullback here. So what are the probabilities on their interest rates? Is it pretty close to pretty high percentage of staying put, I assume? 99% chance we stay. You talking about Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. So my last remaining three two from this morning is at a buck seventy five. Orders at ninety five cents. Luga is going to be close to 50% if we come down to 55 as well. Yeah, I could use that. Anywhere between 55 and 60. Did anybody watch the John Oliver bit on Boeing that I posted over the weekend? It's pretty funny.
Makes you uh, makes you comfortable to fly right now, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck discount. We'll be thinking about you. At the money fly, it's trading for about a dollar fifty, dollar forty. Get a little pullback here. See, what was that? Something just filled for 95 cents. That's been happening. That's happening to you quite a bit nowadays, Steve. I got so much shit on. <laughs> What's that? that? Something got filled. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's either that or your memory's starting to get to go bad. Well, that that could very well be as well. That would be I've got the old I don't even know what you call it. The birthday that you don't want to have coming up this year. Big five oh. Yep. Boy. I still got a few years before I before I have to let that one come out of my mouth. <laughs> It don't sound very good. That's right. Yep, 100%. It's <laughs> true. It's true, Jay. Is that one of those hundred percent back tests that always gets broken though? Or how confident are you on this? All right, SPX. Time to dip around 60. I'm not uncertain. Ooh, I know that one, Wooga. I can't place it. Cannot place that one. Don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, now I remember. All right, so I got the uh, 55 straddle in my challenge portfolio left and the 1DTE. I've got the Wooga left in my other account. Wooga's at 26%. A little down move, we'll hit it.
All right, so I yeah, do a one four. A little bit of down movement hit hit forty percent my power hour trade. Need 30 cents. All right, one four posted in the calendar channel. Little bit lower, just a tad lower, please. There we go. Hit 30% on my uh, challenge portfolio position. It's partial fill. I did not get filled at all. I got two, two hanging in there still. Yeah, I'm about 20 cents away from 40%. Came down and filled a few of my contracts, but not all of them. Uh, discount. I'm not sure what which one you're talking about. I had because I had to manually enter. I think that one may already be closed out. I think that one hit 95%. So I, I, I put a profit target in it, 95% and it hit. About 30 minutes to go. Yeah, that was that 95 cent order that I didn't know quite what it was at first. I was looking at Trade Steward, but that was the one that I entered manually this morning when my bot didn't fire. There we go. There's 40%. There we go.
Wuga is at 42%. A bit lower. I do discount. I do still have my original three two from this morning. It's trading at a dollar seventy five, and my ninety five percent order is at. Ninety five cents. It's trading at a buck forty two, about thirty Get back down there. Sixty butterflies trading for about a dollar of fifty five dollar sixty, maybe less than thirty minutes to go. One DTE still has not hit. Still need another buck to come out of that. Now didn't want it to bounce right back up, but. Yeah, I got to remember to close my one DTE since it's not botted. Go ahead and adjust that to let's go seven fifty. Lewuga needs to move down. Got to about 45%. Not quite there.
the single put calendar on is already at 10% of debit paid. I'm going to, I'm going to hold till tomorrow. Come on down, Wooga. Come on down. Come on down. There it is. We'll get hit 50. Nice. So now I just need to hang around 55. So I'm going to change, since this is a straddle, I'm going to change my profit target to 85%. And then I'll get out as we get close to the bell. No good on the weekend Wooga, huh? The Wooga, the real, the real Wooga is a weekday player anyway. Wuga's not a weekend warrior anymore. Six seven has come to life. It's up over ten percent. Twenty minutes to go. Kind of in between strikes here, but I'm not sure we're going to get to two bucks. I don't think we are. Yeah, my power hour is sitting dead center now.
Got my audio streaming for the MOC number. So I don't miss it today. We get it closer to 5160. That 5160 fly might be close to two bucks, right about a dollar eighty. Trying to get out of my one DTE at 750. It's currently trading at 780, 790. Need 20 cents. 20 cents. Now I'll be at 60%. Our, our number one? 60 and out? Or are you going to leave some? Oh, I... I I, I will have two contracts left after hitting 60%. It's sitting pretty close to center right now. Three, two, just filled at 95 cents. So now all I have left is my one DTE and my remaining one to one. There we go. Fill it at 60%. Two contracts left. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my one BTE here. And it would be amazing if I could just let this power hour one expire. All right, add a one DT at seven seventy. Okay. Okay. All right, I got some strikes available from Mahomes if he wants to play. Trading at a dollar eighty, maybe. Go ahead and put my order in at two bucks on the fifty one sixty. Yep. 
Looks like it's trading at about a dollar seventy. If it gets up to fifty one sixty, it might fill. Got about three and a half minutes before the FO or before the MOC number. Have a good one, discount. Come on, get up there two points. Give us a shot. I'm going to put a 51.55 on as well, just in case. It's right in between strikes. Need to go down to 55 or up to 60. Got about 700 over, bucks left. A little over 11,500 in my challenge portfolio today. Nice. If I keep on track with this, I'll hit my $15 million goal in 18 months. All right, we got one minute. Let's get to a strike. Pretty sure we would get filled at two bucks if we get up to 60 or down to 55. I got about 600 bucks left in my trade here with 11 minutes to go. Sitting dead center. All right, MOC announcement. Coming here in about 10 seconds. Five point six billion to the sell side going short. No, it's coming down. I did not get filled on my fly though, so I'm gonna cancel those. I got stopped. Power hour one stopped after 60%. I had to close my last uh, re-entry there to straddle. All right, looking for a flush for MOC. $5.6 billion. Got 
got 10 short ES contracts. I'll take six of 10 off at five point profit. Crack through lows of day again. Five point six billion sell side. Yeah, I missed a nice winner last week because I completely forgot about it. I'm short, yeah. Short at fifty two seventeen twenty five. I need 52, 12, 25 to take off some. Come on down. The price is right. Yeah, I did see that. Elliot. All right, let's get a few more points here. My six sevens now up over fifteen percent. See my uh, where's the four or five trading? It should have liked that drop. It's up a little bit. If I can get three bucks for my four or five, I'll close it. It'd be about a 40% profit, I think. Got close to my target, a little lower. One more push. Nice, Elliot. You must have got in a point above me. Fifty-two eighteen, yeah, three quarters of a point above me. under four minutes to go make one more push it's 
Too bad I didn't get filled on one of those butterflies. Anybody get filled on an end of day fly? I had 55s, but it blew, blew through it to the downside too quick. <laughs> There we go. Took off six of 10. Let's see how much more they can give us. Yeah, I hold the remaining right into the close. I've got my order down at 5202 in case it really gets down and dirty. Uh, yeah, I just I start my stop at 10 points. I can drag it down here. Minute 40 to go. Plus, <clears throat> plus 34.30 for me. Nice. Today. Three winners and one loser. A $3,150 loser that otherwise it would have been a real good day. Nice, Tom. There's the bell. All right, so I made 1500 on the MOC. Take it. All right, all. Uh, let's see, for day trading live streams tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 19th. So Chad is in the morning doing Mighty 90 and Runners. And we'd be back for power hour. I got to update the calendar. We won't have power hour on Wednesday because we will be streaming during the FOMC. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Take care. Peace.